She's hot. She's blonde. She's allowed to manifest and she allegedly hates drama. Melissa is here. <laughs> yeah, I really do hate drama. Uh-huh, you just yeah. <laughs> we definitely believe you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like the only one that hasn't caused any drama or been in any arguments. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're exactly right. How dare anyone else think anything otherwise? And honestly, that's on them if they Not think me. otherwise. No. <laughs> How dare they think that you started anything? That's that's absolutely incorrect. And did they even watch the show at that point? That's what I'm asking myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I'm quite quiet. Yeah, obviously. I'm what that what is the first the season. The first adjective I would use to describe you is quiet yes. for sure. <laughs> Oh, that, that might be a fun question. What adjectives would you describe yourself as on this season? So we have quiet. That's one good one. Very reserved. Mm-hmm. I am not at all confrontational. No. Don't like arguing. Don't oh. like to state my own opinion. And yeah, I'm just staying on a, playing a low game. Mm. Low key, low key. Hey, sit in the background. <laughs> no one knows I'm there. Yeah, we barely saw you. Yeah. I've had no time to just when you think I was there. Yeah, there was there. I mean, I hardly saw you in any ITMs, you know, any interviews with that red top that you seem to be wearing for about eight months, it felt like at this point. You know what I mean? So not that they made you put that on every time you were doing interviews. We're not stating that. We're not saying that, right? Because that would be crazy, but you know, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. So let's let's get to a few things that happened so far. Um, I, I'd like to ask you, at what point did you realize that it was going to be you and Big T going in every time until you guys were gone? At like how early did that like come across your head? Like, oh, this is this is where we're at now. Probably the first deliberation when Jess originally went down because straight away it was me or big t or jess and the fact that me and t they just looked at us as a pair from the get-go it was not we weren't two separate people according to them we were the same person and anything either of us did or said in this season or previous seasons was getting used against us and straight away because i've made a final people didn't want to run against me and because t is known to be a little bit of a shit stirrer occasionally Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. You have to good. To this good. We <laughs> so say that to, uh, all the yeah. time. Yeah. So we we basically had a target on our back straight away. Um, I personally knew I didn't really have any alliances going in other than T, but poor T did speak to like a few people, Michelle, Zara, um, I think even Jay, and God knows who I can't remember who else, Corey. She spoke to people and made the lines. So she was under the impression that people had her back. And I, I remember saying to her, like day one, like, listen, no, nobody is our friend in here. You need to realize that. Like, don't it is what it is. Just fight to, as hard as you can and stay as long as you can, but it's gonna be a struggle. Yeah, just just lay low as long as humanly possible, mm-hmm. and then we'll pounce. That's what it is. Yeah. I just struggle to lay low. (laughs) I don't know why. You're quiet. You're reserved. You're laid back. We discussed these adjectives earlier. (laughs) I know. I just, you know what? I really did plan on going in and being really reserved. It's just not in me. Like as soon as something pisses me off, I'm just like. It's that yeah. UK in you for 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 sure. It's that UK dog in you, if you will. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Watching just... the season back, I wanted to ask you if you could give yourself a grade for this season. What grade would you give yourself, and why? A plus, because I've carried the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. She's You're not wrong. Queen. You're not honestly. wrong. It's really honestly, and I know that sounds very big headed and very like, you know, well, I'm like, but no, there was nothing else going on. If you, I said this to T the other day, if you minus our drama, mine and T's, mine and Berners, mine and Nerese, mine and Raven, Keep T going. and mine big T three, um, cut me, I ended up voting a manual in when it's like, just all random stuff. What else happened? Name one thing, I, realistically. I, I, name I can't. Anything. There really isn't anything. No. I agree with you, girl. 
yeah. it was like, you know it's good it's not great when you're filming but it's good for airtime so i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> gotta get that airtime bonus, girl. You gotta get that airtime <laughs> bonus. Yeah. We are there for competition, but we are also there to make a TV show. And ultimately, I seen this as, you know, chances of me getting to the final with the alliances I have and how much I'm gonna be targeted and the concept of the show and how the challenges and the eliminations were. They were more like games. They were mm -hmm. still massively difficult, but they were more games than physical. So it was more of a chance of, I might not be good at this puzzle. I might be good at this puzzle. I might like, you know, it It was a bit of a chance thing. So realistically, I did weigh up my odds and think, am I going to be here for a long time? Probably not. So I'm not just going to sit here and play a safe game. I'm just going to be myself. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I like that. I thought you'd have a really good chance at that bingo game because, you know, you know, Brits and bingo going down to the seaside playing the little, you know, bingo thing. I thought that was it. And I think that's why you got upset and kicked, kicked her in the back was because you're like, I got to represent for the Brits. Not even that. I'm good at wrestling. I can do it. And the fact that two girls held me down and physically dipped my head under the mud. So I got over and I had mud in my teeth. Yum. I just sat up and kicked her because I'm like, I had no chance. Even my own team was playing against me. Yeah. Yeah. What chance did I have? It was a losing game from the get go. Yeah, let's let's get to a little bit more fun stuff here. Uh, I, I've always wanted to ask somebody, and we didn't ask Olivia when she was on the podcast because we just had too much fun with her. What is the best and worst thing about being a spectacular OnlyFans star, as you are? And I would like to guess the worst thing, if I can, real quick, and you tell me if I'm right. Here okay. it is. Uh, every guy ever being like, if you need some male talent. I'm more than willing to help. Is that the correct answer? Um, to be honest with you, I found the people on my OnlyFans actually really nice, like the genuine people. And I've actually like built up good relationships with a lot of them to the point where they're not creepy and they're not like strange. And don't get me wrong, well, you will get the odds one. But the people on mine are actually lovely, which is, and that it was not, it's nice for me. I actually really enjoy doing it. I probably That's say great. the hardest part of it is keeping up with content because, like, I like to just sit in my bedroom. I like to be ugly. Do you know when you just like being ugly? Like, you want a bun on top of your head. You've got spots. You've got spot cream on. You've got a hoodie on. And it was, like, keeping on top of, like, hair and makeup and looking pretty and posing and all sexy and all that stuff. So I just started posting, like, day to day. I was like, this is just me. <laughs> this is who I am. And um, they seem to like it. So I actually really, really enjoy OnlyFans. That's awesome. I can relate to the dirty girl aesthetic. That is also wow. my vibe. So I feel you on that. Like 90% of the time, I like to just be in my pajamas, my dressing gown, chill clothes, a hoodie and leggings. And then the 1% of the time when you see me online or a podcast, I'll have makeup on and my hair will be brushed. <laughs> you are explaining Mixie's life to her right now. To a T. <laughs> to a T. I am homeless together. on a daily basis. That's yeah. my vibe. <laughs> The, yeah, if I sat down outside a shop, people would probably give me money. I've been there. I've had people <laughs> offer me money. So get on my level. <laughs> or, or did we find out you two are like best friends? Like we are, we are soul of, sisters. That's what we figured out. <laughs> the UK version of Mixie right here. This is great. Yeah, this is I great. love that. Yeah. That's an honor. That's um, it should be. It should be. Yeah. Now you did unfortunately have to leave your daughter for the show. Um, there's been a lot of speculation as to who the person was to you that you had watch your daughter. We like to give people the floor, the chance to clear the air. So I wanted to ask you if you wanted to talk about the, let's call them tweets. Yeah, my parents have my daughter. I'm putting that out there now. Great. And I will just obviously state the facts now. I didn't tweet or anything because I didn't want to give him attention on Twitter. We broke up before the show. I've gone on the show. He was in my daughter's life. So he's seen her twice whilst I was away. My parents had her every day, every night. Picked her up from nursery. Took her on days out every single night. He had he seen her two days out the entire time I was gone. He did not have her. We was not together. He's obviously just not liked the show when it's come out. And he's got really nasty about it. Yeah, I felt like there wasn't any possibility that that would be the case. You seem like you have a great head on your shoulders. I can't imagine that you would just let somebody watch your daughter like that. So I felt like it was no no ability of that being true from the get-go. 
Oh, not at all. And he, 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 even to me though, because he did take it out for a couple of days, not, not consecutive days, two separate days, not even overnight. He is seeing her and he's like, I had your daughter while you're away and you're doing this. Even if we're not together, you should respect me. And I'm like, but you didn't have her because I actually got, to, I know you get one phone call home a week, but I was really, really struggling and production were nice enough to let me have like a literally a 30 second to a minute FaceTime just so I could check in. I'd be crying my eyes. I was, I FaceTime her. She did not care. I was gone. She was like, I'm fine. <laughs> like, I was like, do you want to talk to mommy? She's like, no, I'm playing. Like, she didn't care. And then I'd stop crying. It'd make me feel better. So I was FaceTiming probably every two days. And I seen who she was with. So and I was like, you can't even lie to me. Like, I know for a fact. Plus, like, my parents aren't going to lie to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just, he's a bit of nasty ex. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah, that that happens, you know. I'd I be know. bitter if I lost you too, to be honest with I you. I, I understand that that point of view from it. <laughs> Well, he got a lot of chances and he screwed them up. So that's on him. Um, yeah. Speaking of chances, we asked Chauncey this question and I wanted to ask you <laughs> as a parent, speaking of babysitting, who from the challenge house this season would you allow to babysit? And why would Corey be your number one pick? <laughs> <laughs> um, but Big T actually did babysit for the first time for me. I, um, why was that not filmed? Why was that not filmed? That I would, would love amazing. to see this. Rihanna absolutely terrorizes T and it's hilarious. So um, last time before we filmed the challenge, T and I went for a weekend away in a log cabin and a jacuzzi. So I said to T, you watch Rihanna for 30 minutes for me. I'll go to the supermarket and buy us food. She's never watched her before. I came back. Rihanna had T by the hair in the jacuzzi, different head <laughs> Screaming out of laughing, going ha 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 ha, and she was like, <laughs> "I'm not going to say that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but that exactly. sounds like something that's just genetic at this point, you know." <laughs> Honestly, it's so funny, and it so that was the first time she had her, and then I think it must have been about a month ago. I actually went on a date, and I went out, and he was like, "I'll mind the baby for you," so I was like, "Okay." And she got terrorized that night. She was winding tea up. So when they got her in bed, tea'd sit down and be under the gum. Tea, I need milk. So tea would get up and she'd go and get her milk. She'd go, tea, I need piss. Piss is crisp, like um, potato chips. But she says piss because she can't say crisp. She'd get up and get her crisp. <laughs> tea, I need this. Tea, I need that. But she'd wait until tea got in bed and got comfortable and go, tea, I need this. And because tea felt like she had to do everything she could. And she's like, God, your child is so demanding. She's like, let me sit down. And then, like, T was trying to have a clean around my house for me. And she's like, I know why you get nothing done now. Everything you do, she undoes. If I put clothes in the drawer, she takes them out and puts them on the floor. She's like, I can't handle that. <laughs> she decided against children. <laughs> well, you know what? That's that's a good thing. That's a good thing yeah. for some people, I think. Yeah. All right. This is the last question we got here because we know we're a little bit past our time here. But I feel like you're all knowing you've told us a lot of things so far on this podcast, things that we didn't know. And I've had this question since I, I guess last week. I'm trying to think of the time frame of when we watched the episodes first. Now, um, the drink throw, which was an absolute chef kiss of a move as far as I'm concerned. So you I'm going to explain the logistics and then you explain to me if I think I'm you think I'm crazy or how things go. You throw a drink. She throws a drink, and the next thing, she's holding a broken glass somehow, randomly. How does a glass just randomly break and somebody is holding it in their hands? Is it something that a glass explodes? Would somebody swing a glass at somebody? Obviously not, because that just seems something crazy to do on a television show. Is there any insight you can provide me on how a glass would all of a sudden break in somebody's hand? What I'm saying is a drink dries glass scars. Mm, mm, mm. and we oh, continue God. into the deep hole of what happened during this fight <laughs> i'm not gonna say that that's what happened because that would be it crazy because, firearm, yes. because somebody would definitely have to go home if something definitely well, it, it wasn't when the glass broke that was like an accident because she's thrown the drink and security stepped in so quickly mm. that the glass is like broken onto him so she, he's kind of like walked into the glass like she didn't actually glass me <laughs> okay but, okay you know right. it was just 
like unfortunate how that happened and it ended up stuck in my arm somehow but it was all so fast that regardless I'm just glad that neither of us went home at that moment and I think at that point I just got so fed up of everyone and everything and that was just my boiling point and I've taken it on here which is probably not the right thing to do looking back now but it, the conversation was it like a lot more conversation happened than what you see on TV. And like, Absolutely. she was kind of speaking to me like, you know, you and T have done this and you and T have done that. And I was like, me and T are two separate people. Stop tarnishing me and her with the same brush. Like she's her own person. And so am I mm-hmm. just, she's quite hard to talk to Raven. Um, she doesn't really seem to understand much. <laughs> so <laughs> nicely put. So nicely put. There was like a good apology there of like, I shouldn't have taken out on her. And at the end, you're like, yeah, She's to to. I love it. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. It happened. And... It is. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for making time today. I will continue to tell everybody here in the United States, you do not put water in the microwave to make tea because that's fucking disgusting. You use a kettle like a real person should. I will continue to fight that fight for all my UK friends. Okay. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye.